Hi guys, it's KJM and I'm back with a part two review of the movie Holiday Heritage that premiered last night at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel for a Countdown to Christmas. So I didn't think I would be doing a part two, but remember at the end of my part one review, I said that there was a backstory between Ella and Griffin. So I talked about it in some of my other reviews, how Hallmark manages to do a very good job of having a main story like the relationship, trying to repair the relationship between Grandma Tess and Micah, right? But then have a silent love story going on right behind it. So in this love story, Ella had moved to Boston and the day she was breaking up with Griffin, who was now the mayor of Marystown, the day she was breaking up with him, turns out to be the day he was going to propose to her. And when they finally sit and talk about it, because they realize that Grandma Tess and Micah are hearing each other, but they're not really listening. They're not really actively listening. So they decide, um, Ella and Griffin decide that they're going to sit down and they're going to talk out their differences from this breakup that happened several years ago. So Griffin, who never really talked about the future with Ella, was going to propose that night when Ella actually broke up with Griffin and told him she was headed to Boston. So the thing Griffin realizes is that El, he never said to Ella that he would go with her to Boston and she actually thought he would. And then she realizes that Griffin was really taking the relationship seriously, even though he never verbalized it and he was ready to propose and make him make her his forever person. These two do end up back together, but after reuniting Grandma Tess and Micah first, here's the thing this got me thinking. How many of us, and I told you I've been doing some shadow work, some deep shadow work unexpectedly in the last 24 hours. How many of us has miscommunication damaged our relationships or, you know, sometimes for years or maybe even forever? Sometimes having those difficult, uncomfortable conversations is exactly what we need to do with our family, with our friends, with our loved ones. And I know I, for one, I'm usually not open to those difficult conversations, especially in my romantic life. I'll tackle it in every other area, but baby, my romantic life, I'll just, I will, I'll clam up. I won't say anything. I want, I don't want to be vulnerable with the person that I love the most, which is coincidentally some of the shadow work I've been doing for the last 24 hours is to save the things that need to be said. So I want to tell you guys in the spirit of Kwanzaa, in the spirit of reuniting with your loved ones if there's something on your heart that you need to express express it to your loved one but also be ready to not just listen but to hear your loved one with their response and see if you guys can meet each other in the middle holiday heritage eight 